Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first ever story time with Little Potato. Teacher Nick and Little Potato. If you're wondering what this is, it's a show that will happen weekly on Facebook. We're going to have an event that I'll post on Little Potato's classroom site. If you type in Little Potato's classroom on Facebook, you will see my site. It's my page. Every week we will have a video of myself and Little Potato reading a book. By day, I am a teacher. I teach over, I've taught over 20,000 international students, over 8,000 classes, and that's what I do in the daytime. And in the afternoon, I also teach for out school, and I also consult teachers on how to create books because I am a children's book author and illustrator, and that's my passion. That's what I love to do. I also love animation. So I have a character of a little potato, but this is not the character. You might think in your head, this is a really fun character, and I actually do like him a lot. I might show him uh, in my, uh, my next animation. However, you're probably wondering, why did I come up with a little potato? Well, a little potato is actually... This is Little Potato. Little Potato was a name of a child in one of my classes. And I said, oh, my God, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen, Little Potato. So I took it. I took the name, and now this is Little Potato. So if you're wondering about Little Potato, Little Potato, where are you? Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Run, 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 run. This is Little Potato. Say hello to all the boys and girls. You see everybody? There's there's Mark and Lisa and Sally and Linus. Wait a minute. Peanuts are here? No. And Julie and Cassandra and Mark and Mike and Bob and Willie. All the different children are here to see you. Yeah. And so Little Potato and I do a lot of fun stuff throughout the classes that we teach, and it's a lot of fun. And he, sometimes he gets shy, though, especially around girls. So we have all you girls. Don't look at him because sometimes he'll get shy and he won't look. At, but he'll just sneak a little look like this. But he is my buddy. He is uh, very warm, very affectionate. He likes to give hugs. You want to show him how you give a hug? He loves to give hugs. And today we have a special treat, right? Yes, we do. Today we're going to read a book that I did last year. And it is one of three books in the series of the Little Marker series. And this one is the blue, Little Blue Marker. And we are going to show that to you momentarily. And um, so that's called the Little Blue Marker. And it's going to be a lot of fun because the story is quite funny. I wrote it. I illustrated it. And we've got lots and lots of books to read in the coming weeks. Are you excited? Yes. So he'll be... Little Potato will be engaging with you, and I will be reading the story, and what's wrong? It's okay. They're, they are not looking at you funny. No, no, Mark's not looking at you funny. Don't worry, okay? All right. So, go get my, go get my, who likes Harry Potter here? Does anybody like Harry Potter? Go get my sorting hat. I have the sorting hat. Do you want to see it? Go get the sorting hat. So, I so I went to this store. It was a used store. You ever go to the used stores? And they told me that this is the sorting hat. And so look at this, everybody. I've got the sorting hat. Isn't that funny? Isn't that great? What? What do you mean it's not the sorting hat? What is it? A poop hat? They, those salespeople, they told me that was the sorting hat. It turned out to be the poop hat. Here, take this off. Okay, anyways, there goes my hat. So let's get started. All right, we're going to be starting while Little Potato, when you want to watch Little Potato, here comes Little Potato. We are going to read The Little Blue Marker. Yeah, there it is. Yay. On your screen, there we are. All right, so The Little Blue Marker. Large text for all of you children who don't have good eyesight. I have lousy eyesight, to tell you the truth. Okay. 
So this is the little blue marker written and illustrated by Nick Nabelski. Yay! Okay. All right. Like I said before, I have three of these books, and they're kind of similar, but all of the stories are different, right? Yep. All of the rhyming is different, and the pictures are also different, right? Yes. Okay. So those are available on Amazon, or you can go to my website, intensemedia.com. This is my little legal notice, my ISBN. If you want to take a look at the ISBN, you can copy that if you'd like, and or go to my site, Intense media.com they all will be available in ebook and also hardcover coming soon so let's start the class okay there once was a little blue marker was full of blue ink when he looked at the blank paper he stopped to think hmm. do you ever think hmm, hmm. What do you think he's thinking about? All the great things he can draw, right? Yeah, you like to draw, don't you? You like to draw, yes. Where do I start, he moaned with his drooped blue face. <laughs> he is not very confident, is he? No, he's not. Droop means when your face drops like that. That means drooped. drooped. He's very, like, he doesn't know where to start. Oh! He gasped while looking at the blank space. Oh my gosh, this poor guy. Let's see if we can help him. Back and forth he raced, not even realizing what he could do. I mean, he was on a mission, right? He was on a mission. Let's see what he did. Then he turned around to see both pages in blue. Uh-oh. I have a feeling he did something funny. Let's see what he, Let's see what he did. Oh, no. He made lots of swirly marks, didn't he? There he goes, round and round and round and round and round and round. Oh, my gosh. The entire pages are blue. Calm down. Calm down. This must be a test. He's concerned now, I think. Drawing on imagination is what I do best. Who knows what imagination is? Imagination is coming up with new ideas in your head, right? We have all kinds of crazy imaginations. Like you're imagining right now that this bunny is real, right? You are real. I told you you're real. Don't get upset with me again. Okay. All right. I could draw a blue doodle, a blue dotted line, or a blue triangle, right? That's good things to draw. That's a good thing. How about a blue circle? Oh, that's a blue oval. I made a mistake. A blue oval, a blue frown, or even a blue triangle. A blue triangle? A blue triangle is not a word. <laughs> what a hoot. <laughs> Triangle. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, then he drew a little girl wearing a little blue suit. Isn't she cute? Yep, she looks like she's an astronaut. You like astronauts, right? Yep, they're pretty cool. I know what to draw now, the little blue marker said. I think he got some inspiration. Whatever pops into my little blue head. And he's holding his head. He's so cute. I'll draw blue blue I'll, <laughs> I'll draw blue blueberries to put on my toast. And throw a little blue party with me as the host. I know, said the little blue marker. I'll draw a blue fish. See that blue fish? For any child who wants to make a wish. Ooh, do you have any wishes? We'll talk about those later. I could draw a blue ocean for my little blue boat. Yeah. And go sailing in my little blue coat. He looks like a pirate. Oh, do, you, do, you know, do you like pirates? No, you don't like pirates. Okay. 
I'll draw a little blue spaceship and fly to Mars. Because on Mars, there are no blue cars. Oh no, I can't draw anymore, I don't think. Uh oh, what's wrong? He looks sick. He looks like he's running out of ink. I'm sadly running out of all my blue ink. He drew so much, he, he drew so much, he lost all of his ink. Have you ever done that, boys and girls? Have you drawn a lot and then you, you need to buy another marker? That happens a lot to me. I have lots and lots of markers. But sometimes you use one color over another color and like the black, I use a lot of black, ink, black markers. So I bought a whole package of black markers. Remember that? Yeah. All right. Oh, the blue end. Hmm. Well, we have a quiz for you, believe it or not. Here's a little quiz. How many times did blue, the word blue, appear in this book? Now, obviously, it's harder for you to see, but if you had the book or the ebook, you could you could definitely tell me, and I won't tell you the answer until next week. But if you do want to pick up the book, it is available on Amazon along with all of the other books that I have, the little red marker and also the green marker, which we will be reading in the next couple of weeks. I hope you enjoyed your time. Uh, little potato. Come here, little potato. Say goodbye to everybody. Wasn't that fun? Did you have a good time? We're going to do this every single Friday morning around 7 a.m. But next time we do this, we're going to do it. Well, we'll still do the videos, but I think next time we're going to be live, right? And we're going to do it on Facebook or Zoom. We'll figure that out next week. I hope you had a great time, enjoyed the book. And Little Potato wants to see you again next week. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye-bye.